What's happening my Jack family, Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to instantly look more shredded and muscular. And the purpose of this video is twofold, really. Number one is to teach you how to present your physique in the best possible way. Number two is to shed some light on the comparison game that we play when we see pictures of jacked men over 40 on social media. There's a reason why I start all of my physique update videos just standing nice and relaxed, and that's because I feel this is a more accurate representation of how I actually look. I think I look great, I think I look lean, I think I look muscular, but nothing compared to when I start manipulating my body, striking some poses that make me look my best, make me look more shredded and more muscular. The interesting thing is that people tend to guess my body fat percentage 5% lower when I'm striking that perfect pose compared to when I'm just standing relaxed. And they also guess my weight 20 pounds heavier when I'm striking that perfect pose compared to when I'm standing relaxed. So the first take home message I want to get across is do not not compare your relaxed physique that you see when you step out of the shower compared to someone who has mastered the art of manipulating the body in the way that makes them look much leaner and much more muscular. And in addition to striking the right pose, lighting can make a huge difference in how shredded and muscular you look. Right now I've just got some natural lighting coming in from the left of me. I'm going to strike two poses and you can see the difference in how lean and muscular I look. So I'm going to kind of face the lighting here a little bit more directly. Direct. I'm going to strike one of my typical side poses here, just flexing to the side, tightening up those abs, blowing out the air, looking pretty lean and muscular here. Now let's switch away so I kind of got my back a bit more to the, the sunlight. Twist. Can kind of see more details. It kind of makes like makes my abs and obliques kind of pop out more. And now we'll head over to my bedroom where I do a lot of my physique update videos. You can see the difference in natural lighting versus artificial lighting. And in there, I'll teach you how to pose in a way that's going to make you look more shredded, look more muscular, present your physique in the best possible way. If you enjoyed this video so far, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button. More than anything, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment down below, share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback and experiences. So first of all, a comparison between artificial light and the natural light that you just saw. I have a light placed about a foot above me and a foot in front. It just casts a nice shadow down on my physique. You don't want it directly above you and you don't want it behind you're just gonna look dark. So just starting nice and relaxed compared to the relax that you saw out front. A little twist to the side. You can see the depth in the abs, the details in my physique a lot more. So lighting can make a huge difference. Now let's talk about how to flex your abs because this is an area that I see a lot of men over 40 mess up and it really presents their physique poorly. The thing that they do is they just try to, when I say flex your abs, they, they suck in their gut. They're just trying to pull in their stomach and it just doesn't, it doesn't have that same peel. It just kind of draws their belly button and it kind of looks, it looks like they're forcing, looks like they're trying to suck in their gut. It just doesn't look appealing. What you want to do is try to shorten the distance between your sternum and your belly button. So I'm just trying to bring my belly button up. I'm trying to contract my abs. I'm not trying to suck the abs in. I'm trying to contract them, really squeezing them together like an accordion. So I'm just trying, you can see when I relaxed and I, then I flex, I'm just trying to crunch them up. So I'm not really crunching forward, but I am trying to bring that belly button. It probably goes up a good inch there as I'm flexing it. So contracting it, rather than sucking in, which looks ridiculous, contracts. So you're really just trying to flex your abs. It really helps, like if you're holding, when you go to pick up something heavy, your abs automatically contract. So I would recommend grabbing a heavy object, even with one hand, two hands, and you can feel the tension in your abs, and you wanna kinda of create that same kind of tension uh, without an object in your hands. So I'm just trying to Bring that belly button upwards. I'm trying to contract those abs. You can kind of tell right now, if I push my hands up against my thighs, it makes it even harder. That's why a lot of times you'll see me flexing and my hands are really close to my body. It helps me 
contract those abs a lot tighter. So I don't want to see you sucking in your gut. In a previous video, I mentioned that, how to flex your abs. I mentioned do not draw your belly button in, do not try to suck in your gut. I did mention that you want to kind of push out your abs, and I think a lot of people misinterpret that feeling. It's basically I want your abs to pop out. I don't want you, I don't want you pushing your stomach, blow, blowing it outwards. I just want you to contract. You can see those abs contracting upwards. So that belly button goes up. So I'm just trying to crunch. I'm trying to shorten that distance between the belly button and my sternum here. This next tip is going to make your waist look a heck of a lot smaller and make you look more muscular. Those head on uh, poses, flexing your abs in the front like I was just doing, that's not our best look. Our best look is usually going to be off to the side somehow, some sort of pose, and not just the sideways. So when you saw me flexing here, flexing up, yeah, I, I look okay if I'm flexing my abs like this. But the big difference maker is off to the side and then twist your body. So big difference, just standing at the side and twisting. And then to make your shoulders and arms look bigger, you wanna flex. So I can keep my hands away from my body a bit. Twisting to the side, you can see how much more narrow my waist looks here and it really kind of brings out the details of the abs a lot more, but you really want to flex the arms hard, flex the shoulders hard, because it really brings out the details there. Flex the abs, and the big key here, blowing out. So with all of these poses, I am, I'm getting myself into position, and then I'll blow out, and you're gonna, really, that's gonna help me tighten up my abs, and it also shrinks, kind of tightens up the abs. It really shrinks the, it, there's less air in your system there, so it really pulls everything in tight together. So into position, flex hard, blow out, and kind of twisting to the side. I'm leaning in just a little bit. Leaning back a little bit helps a lot as well. It's really gonna bring out the details in your abs. Upwards, twisting, leaning back just a bit, twisting. Flex the shoulders, flex the arms. Now, you can also do a, that's, that's kind of one of my signature poses there. I do, you'll see me do that a lot when I'm coming out of a tanning bed. It's what I do with a lot of my physique updates. You want to highlight your triceps as well, make your arms look bigger. It's the exact same thing. So I'm just going to grab my fingers back behind my back. It's the same idea. Bring my arm down to the side, squeeze in the triceps, turn around. Thing I'm also doing, driving this shoulder into my chest at the same time. I'm pushing this arm up against my body, which is gonna make my arms look bigger as well. So, so all the illusion, all these little flexible flexing tips, posing tips. So you wanna make your chest look bigger, push your shoulder into that pec. Wanna make your arm look bigger, dig it into the side of your arm. So down, pushing it into the side of my body, twist, blow the air out, Lean back just a bit, push that arm up against the chest. So I'm also squeezing really hard down here. Not only am I contracting my abs, but I'm squeezing. I can feel it right here in the obliques. Oftentimes, if you haven't done this in a while, or if you've never done it before, you may actually cramp up in there. It's still an area, when I'm out of practice with my posing, this is an area I will I'll cramp up. I'm gonna have to actually, stretch into position, stretch it out. Actually, thinking of that, that's another pose you can do from the side here. Again, pushing my, my arm into my chest here to make it pop out, my hand against my head, turn to the side. So here you get a lot of the serratus. So sometimes depending on your strong points or not, my chest is not a strong point, sometimes a pose like that may not look as impressive. It may make you look too small. Like even some guys with the, the ab pose where their arms, hands above their head can really make them look small inside. So you gotta know what's gonna make you look the biggest. Most muscular. Another pose to make you look more shredded and muscular is the side chest. So a couple things I'm doing here, hand over my wrist, 
I'm also pushing this arm up against my pec. I'm blowing out. I'm still squeezing down here in the obliques, but really focus on just kind of the upper abs. So if your lower abs aren't quite as defined, this is a great one to kind of hide them a little bit while bringing out the, the upper abs here. I'm kind of crunching just a little bit to the side. I got my elbow just back behind me. That's going to open up, show off some of the serratus in here, some of the details in the oblique. So hand on top. Turn to the side, blow out, push the arm against the chest. I got this arm pressing up hard against my body as I'm flexing my arm as hard as I can too. So there is, I mean, it's a lot of work. It's exhausting doing a lot of these poses. It's more exhausting than most people really could ever imagine it would be. You're gonna be out of breath when you're doing a lot of these poses. You're gonna be cramping up. I do recommend that you stick with it. The effort and time that you put into it really does pay off. So just remember the next time you're on social media, looking at pictures of other men over 40 who are looking shredded and jacked, chances are they have put in a lot of time and effort, a lot of practice into man manipulating their body, mastering the art of posing to make themselves look their absolute best, to present their physique in a way that makes them look the most shredded and most muscular. So if you want to present your physique in the best possible way, looking the most shredded and jacked that you possibly can, it's important to invest some time into practice posing. And the great news is this transfers over into your weight training sessions because this is an exercise in great mind-muscle connection. You connect well with your mind, with your muscles, your mind-muscle connection when you're posing you're going to transfer that over into a great mind muscle connection when you're working out as well and of course it helps to be incredibly lean when you're striking these poses if you're not quite there I do recommend that you check out this video 12 steps to a beach body if you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button I'd really appreciate it you want to see more videos like this be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video more than anything I'd love to hear from you down in the comments sections below before you go don't forget to download your free guide Jack after 40 hope you have your yourself an absolutely amazing day. Catch you in the next video.